Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews and finally the heart rate and the respiratory rate features of Google Fit using the phone's camera are here on my Pixel 5 and today I have a very exciting video for you. And the most important thing about those two features is how accurate they are. That's why I have here my Apple Watch Series 6, my Pixel 5 for Google Fit and a heart rate monitor device. I'm gonna measure my heart rate using all of them to see how good is Google's approach in using the camera to measure the heart rate compared to a proper heart rate sensor. So let's see how Google Fit will perform, but before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. Before starting the test, let me show you the two new features in the Google Fit app. Once you get the update, you will see two new cards in your Google Fit, one called Check Your Heart Rate and the other one called Track Your Respiratory Rate. So the first one I'm going to test here is the heart rate. So let's tap on Get Started. Here you will get a page explaining to you how to use the feature. Let's tap on Next. It says here, put your finger over your rear facing camera lens to measure your heart rate. For the most accurate read, make sure you are in a well lit area and can hold your hand steady. Now it's asking for a permission to access my camera. And by this, everything is ready. So let's start with the comparison. To ensure fairness and consistency, here's what I did. I compared the Google Fit to one device at a time and the Apple Watch was the first. Both devices were measuring at the exact same time. On the left, I have the Apple Watch and the Pixel 5 in the same hand, but the Apple Watch was upside down. And to make sure this will not impact the Apple Watch accuracy, I did the same test again with the Apple Watch properly positioned on my left hand and the Pixel 5 in my right hand. I did the test three times in each scenario to ensure the results are consistent. So let's begin. The results of the first round are identical in both scenarios, which is impressive. I didn't expect the feature to be that accurate in measuring the heart rate. And to ensure consistency, let's do it two more times. And once more, the results are almost identical, only one heartbeat difference between the two. So let's do it one more time to confirm. And in the last round, both were identical again. So I'm really impressed with the results and that confirms that Google Fit is as accurate as the Apple Watch Series 6 without the need to have any special hardware but your phone's camera. Now let's compare it to the heart rate monitoring device. In the first round, both were identical at 97 beats per minute. So let's move on to the second round. In the second round, only two beats difference between the two. So let's move on to the third round to confirm the results. And in the final round, they are identical again at 101 beats per minute. As you saw, the heart rate monitoring results were impressive and it did match exactly the Apple Watch Series 6 and the heart rate monitoring device. Now it's time to talk about the respiratory rate feature, but this time I don't have anything to compare it with. So I'm going to tap on get started. 
Here it will show you a graphical representation on how you should set up your phone to get accurate results. After that, you will see a paragraph saying, see how your body regulates your breathing by measuring your respiratory rate. For most people, it's usually stable, but you might notice it changes if you are feeling stressed or unwell. So let's tap on next to see what else we have here. In the second page, it will show you how you should position yourself within the frame. And it says here, fit will detect small movements in your chest to measure your respiratory rate. Make sure you are seated and remove any items covering your face, including hats and masks. And wait a few minutes if you, are, if you have been active recently. So you should be relaxed before measuring your respiratory rate using this feature. So let's tap on next. And finally, it says, lean your phone on a stable surface so that you can comfortably see yourself from the waist up when measurement starts. So I'm gonna try this now, so let's jump in. So now I'm done with the respiratory rate measurement and I took a screen recording to show you how it works. Once I tapped on the start measurement button, the front facing camera got activated. Once I positioned my phone properly, I got two rectangles, one around the head and the other one around the chest. And as you see here, the waves started to show up, which means the phone is detecting my chest movements. I waited for around 30 seconds total and then I got the result. So let me show you here. It says the result is 22. It doesn't tell you if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it says here at the bottom for informational purposes only. And if you want to know more, consult your local medical authority for advice. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the features, but how can you get them right now on your Pixel device? All you need to do is to download Google Fit version 2.51. If you didn't get the update through the Play Store, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to download the APK, install it on your device and give it one or two hours, then open Google Fit and you will see the same cards I have here in my Google Fit app. So now I'm done with my comparison and review for the new Google Fit features, the respiratory rate and the heart rate monitor. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.